And as you can see, the printer behind me, it's just nonstop printing, 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 and we're uh, giving them away as fast as we can print them. Imagine having to wear one of these for 12 hours straight. It could cause some serious irritation. And that's why one local business wanted to help. Turtle Bay IT Services is using their technology and 3D printer to make and distribute free ear guards for frontline workers. It's a way of giving back. And what's really personal for us, right? Like, well, especially for Craig, his wife is a nurse. So why wouldn't we want to help that out? Um, again, I, I got my big rugby guy, and it's about building community. It's like rugby is community. Although my wife's a nurse, she had never mentioned how the mask hurt the ears after a while. So I printed one. I, I showed it to her and I said, you know, will, will you like this? Do you think that would be helpful? And she's like, yeah, I'll try it. Right. And then she uh, she tried it. And she's like, it's fantastic. Right. Because these days, like, usually they very rarely if ever wear a mask. Right. Now they're wearing masks through almost their entire shift. Right. She says, I'll, I'll take it off when I eat or when I get a drink. Right? Otherwise, it's on. For less than fifty dollars, we can print hundreds of these, right? And it's it just happens while we're doing work, anyways. So the amount of um, time to put into it is is quite minimal. For what it costs and, and the effort compared to uh, the comfort that people will get from it. Well, it's not, and we don't want to get money off. We don't need to make money off the pandemic. Yeah. I mean, like, if we started selling these, I think that would just be absolutely ridiculous. It takes two and a half hours to make seven free guards, and they use a material that's called polylactic acid, which is not only a plant-based material, but is also biodegradable. Sarita Patel, Castanet News, Kelowna.